Hello, my name is Kastutis and in this video I will explain all about WordPress multi-site. I will also show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up. So, what is WordPress multi-site and how is it different from having multiple websites? WordPress multi-site is a feature in WordPress that lets you run multiple websites under one dashboard. In other words, you can have different websites under a single WordPress installation. This WordPress feature is popular among multinational businesses and organizations as they can run several websites under the same brand. An example of a WordPress multi-site network is the Harvard Blogs, which enables students and faculty members to create their own blogs. The main benefit of this multi-site feature is that the administrator can easily manage multiple websites and even share the same themes and plugins. Seems like an ideal situation if you want to create multiple websites, right? Well, WordPress multi-site is not always the right approach. WordPress multi-site is an excellent option for those who run similar websites with similar content and functionality. So, it doesn't suit freelancers that manage different websites for different clients. In that case, you'll need to install WordPress for each one. You'll also have to keep the installation up to date and get separate themes and plugins for each website. There are two types of WordPress multi-site, subdirectories and subdomains. With subdirectories, the domains will look like this. On the other hand, a WordPress multi-site using subdomains will look like this. With a WordPress multi-site, it is also important to know the difference between a super admin and a site admin. The super admin, sometimes known as the network admin, can control the whole network of websites. They are the ones who activate multi-site in the first place. Super admins have access to the network admin settings and the dashboard of all the websites in the network. They can also grant users permissions to create new accounts or websites. Not only that, but the super admin also controls the installation of plugins and themes. The site admin often has administrative access to the only one website with a WordPress multi-site network. But depending on the permissions that their super admin grants, site administrators may have access to more than one website. Site admins can only add users to the websites that they administer. They cannot install WordPress plugins or themes, but can choose which ones to activate or deactivate. Alright, now that you know what a WordPress multi-site is, let's learn how to set up this feature. There are a couple of prerequisites that you should be aware of. First, purchase a web hosting plan that supports the feature. At Hostinger, the WordPress Starter, Business, and Pro plans can make use of the multi-site feature. Next, install the newest version of WordPress. If you already have a WordPress installation, deactivate your plugins first and create a backup. Finally, make sure that you have an FTP access to open your WordPress files. With Hostinger, you can do this via the File Manager. When that's done, you can set up WordPress multi-site. The first step is to find your configuration file inside the public folder via your file manager or an FTP client. The configuration file stores your database details including the username and password. Scroll down to the bottom of the file to find the that's all stop editing line. Above that line add the following code which is also available for you to copy paste from our Hostinger tutorial. Link in the description below. This simple line of code tells WordPress that you want to enable the multi-site feature. Don't forget to save your changes and close the configuration file. After making the changes, head to your WordPress dashboard. Go to Tools and click on Network Setup. This is where you can configure and activate your WordPress multi-site network. If you have already installed any plugins, WordPress will tell you to deactivate them before continuing. Then, choose whether you want to use subdomains or subdirectories under the addresses of sites in your network. This choice will affect all websites within your network and cannot be changed after the setup. Under Network Details, enter a name for your network in the Network Title field. After that, enter the Super Admin's email address in the Network Admin email field. Make sure to double-check all of the information and click Install. 
WordPress will prompt you to enable the network and provide the relevant code snippets. Copy the code snippets from the next steps. Once you have set up your network, add the two code snippets to the configuration and HD access files. Don't forget to back up these two files before continuing the setup process. Now head back to your WordPress directory via your file manager or FTP client. In the configuration file, paste the code snippet you copied above the that's all stop editing line. You can also see it on screen and it is available in our tutorial. Don't forget to replace your domain with your actual domain. Once you are done, click save and close the file. Then head to the HD access file and add the following code. Save the changes and close the file. Your WordPress multi-site network is almost ready. Head back to the WordPress dashboard. There, open the new network administrator navigation menu and click My Sites. Access the network admin screen and the primary or original website's dashboard as a super admin. From the network admin screen, you will be able to manage sites and user accounts. Every time a new website is created, the navigation menu under My Sites will gain a new tab. The dashboards of all the websites on your multi-site network are accessible from here. If you choose to use subdomains, you might get a warning message that says, Warning, wildcard DNS may not be configured correctly. After that, you will need to configure a DNS, which is short for domain name system. If your website is hosted on Hostinger, you can add a new DNS record using the DNS zone editor. Insert an asterisk in the name field and your hosting account's IP address in the points to field. Once that's done, create your subdomain from your hosting account. With Hostinger, you can just click on the subdomains button on your H panel. Make sure to check the custom folder for subdomain and use public HTML directory boxes. That's it! Your subdomain-based multi-site is all set. Now you're done setting up your WordPress multi-site. Here's how you can add more websites to it. Navigate to the Sites tab on your WordPress dashboard and click Add New. A page will appear with the configuration options for the new website. Enter the new site's address, title, language, and administrator's email. Then click Add Site. For this example, we are using the subdomain option. And that's it! You have added a new website. Repeat this process for as many sites as you want, as long as your hosting plan supports it. If you want to find the websites, head to the site screen on your super admin dashboard. Now, can you enable multi-site on an existing WordPress website? Technically, you can, but if your website has been up for more than one month, you can only use subdomains to create new websites. You might also encounter issues while editing the code. So, I recommend enabling WordPress multi-site feature on an entirely new WordPress installation. That's all! Now you know what a WordPress multi-site is, how this feature is different from having multiple WordPress installations, and how to set it up. Remember that all of the code is also available in our tutorial linked in the description below. If you find this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more videos like this. Best of luck in your online journey!